Okay, if you are bothered by this question, I bet it's just because you're so young that you haven't really experienced language like this in your math classes yet. It, it's This is going to be something you're going to just deal with on the PSAT and SAT, even when you're in 11th grade and taking the SAT. Like You're going to hit language about the way that they talk about math that feels very advanced. It's not. This is what's called function notation. Basically, instead of putting a y equals here, we put f of x equals. It's just another way of writing the exact same thing. And the reason we do that is so that we can talk about that line or that equation in a much more kind of like, yeah, mathematical way, basically. For mathematicians, this is easier, even if for you it feels harder. What they're doing when they give us this question, they're, they're, the way we would read this is, uh, the function f is defined by f of x equals 6 plus the square root of x. What is the value of f of 36? Notice, f of 36. There's no of written there, but that's how we say it. Basically, what it's doing is saying, okay, that 36, notice how that's in place of the x, right? It's in those parentheses in that spot that normally has the x, that, gave, that, that, that had an x when they told us what the equation was. So we need to just follow that as an instruction and say, okay, if the x is getting replaced by 36 there, then maybe we should replace the x on the other side with a 36 as well. And that's literally all this means. So if they say f of 36, we're taking our equation, rewriting it, but instead of an x, now it's gonna be 36 in all the places. So in this case, there's only one x, but if there were multiple x's, then they would all get replaced with a 36. Now it's just arithmetic. And you could put this in the calculator if you wanted to, but you should know that the square root of 36 is 6, positive 6. Now I know sometimes your teacher will say, oh, it could be negative 6, but no, whenever we use this symbol, this square root symbol, we always want the positive root. So it's positive 6, and then 6 plus 6 is 12, and that is our answer. So that's it. Again, the calculator will do this for you. Um, in fact, I think it'll do all of it. Let me just show you since you're here to learn anyway. Um, if I wanted to, I could start off uh, putting in f of x. So if you hit this ABC button in the bottom left here of your calculator, it's going to give you all the letters. That's what the ABCs are, right? So we can do f and then we can put little parentheses. I think I got to go back for that though. See so yeah, here, f of x, close parentheses equals, and I can just write what they told me, 6 plus the square root of x. So what it's giving me is the full line, okay, the full shape of this thing, right? Because there's infinite values of x, basically, and so uh, it's showing me all of them at once, and that's what a graph is, is it's a collection of infinite points that makes a shape. But if I wanted to know this exact one, I could just, again, go to the ABCs, get my f, get my parentheses, and I think I can just put 36... And look, there it is. It knows to use the f of x equation that I just typed and plug the 36 into that. And so now it's giving me the 12 just right there as my answer. So if you're unsure, the calculator can kind of nudge you in the right direction. But I would say these are the kinds of skills that you need to have automatically without the calculator's help. Knowing how to read function notation is a very important part of math in general, especially in high school, but also part of the SAT. And so you're gonna just need to be comfortable with this kind of language. Even though it sounds more advanced, notice that at the end of the day, our strategy holds plug points into equations. They clearly gave us an equation. The only weird thing was that the way they gave us a point was kind of maybe new and unusual. But if we can get that kind of past us and just be like, okay, it's a number, put it in the right place, then these questions become much easier.